You're listening to the Valley Labor Report with David Story and Jacob Morrison. For for years, as I grew up, uh, you know, we had Democrats and we had Republicans, not so much Libertarians, and in, in, in you know, back before the last 15, 20 years. But the 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 notion was you elected, you know, the person that you thought would do the best job for mm-hmm. for whatever you you know your thoughts were. And in the past, right. seems like 10 to 15 years, certainly more in the past four to five years, we've seen this, this, uh, this ideology coming from not only the bosses, but now politicians that want to keep their power or keep empowered or get elected with this divide and conquer mentality. And, you know, mm-hmm. we, we, ta- we, we talked about it a little bit earlier about uh, Tommy Turville. I'm, I'm driving home yesterday and listening to an interview on this station with Tuberville. And he, he's talking about the, the communist Democrats, the socialist <laughs> Democrats, you know, and how they're, they're ruining America. And if we, if, if, if we don't get these communists out of, out of yeah. office, that, that, that we just don't know what America is going to be like. In the next couple yeah. of years, I just, and I'm I thinking, wanna, uh, like, I'm thinking, uh, I want to interject, like, just really quickly. Yeah, go ahead. Man, I wish Democrats were as radical as Republicans think they are. Like, I would love to have me some socialist Democrats. That Is it insane or what? I mean, and, and so, I, yeah, and so I'm, I'm sitting there listening to him, and 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 you know as well, you know, you'll vouch for me. I. I am not a Republican by any stretch of the imagination, but the fact was I was willing to support uh, Senator Sessions or, or uh, b- before this runoff just for the simple fact that he is a politician and he knows yeah. what it's going to take to help yeah. Alabama keep jobs, to bring <clears throat> to bring <throat> jobs here, unlike Tommy Tuberville. Uh, it, but as he's talking about yeah. these communist Democrats – you know, just just uh, this past year, Doug Jones, uh, let's see right here, Quorum Analytics has released a new report ranking Senator Jug- Doug Jones as among the most bipartisan members of the United States Senate. <laughs> the report analyzed yeah. the bipartisan actions taken by members of Congress so far in the 116th Congress, and Jones has, has co-sponsored this year 47% are led by a Republican, you know, and it's yeah. like, wow, it, yeah, it's the I same, mean, but it, it's the it, exact same talking it, points over and over again. The only way that he can defeat someone is by dividing and lying, mm-hmm. flat out lying mm-hmm. about, about, uh, the policies that someone else is making, and I haven't been a Doug Jones fan mm-hmm. by any stretch of the imagination, but let's, let's be no. honest here. He's not a communist. Right. Right. Yeah. If Doug Jones is a socialist, if Doug Jones is a communist, what in the heck does a centrist look like? Yeah. What does a centrist yeah. look like? What does a liberal look like? What does a moderate look like? If Doug Jones is a socialist, what? Who, I mean, it's lunacy. These people are mad. No, they're not mad. They're doing exactly what they've been doing. They're doing exactly what yeah. they've learned from the bosses over these years: mm-hmm. divide and conquer. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, and and yet, and and not only is he attacking Doug Jones, he's coming out and attacking the teachers' union as well. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, talking yeah. about uh, the, the teachers need to not worry about the coronavirus. We've got to get back into school and all. Uh, I have not heard him lay out one policy plan. He he no. said nothing about what are we going to do to keep the teachers safe whenever no. we force them back to school. It was th- these <laughs> teachers unions are just pushing back and we can't have this. Okay, well then what 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 is your policy? Right. What what are you going to do to protect them? Mr. Uh-huh. Tuberville? I I mean yeah. he's I, I it makes me sick. It makes me sick. I hope. Yeah, I mean, what it, like are they? Go ahead. Yeah, well, like, are are they, are they supposed to just do it just like normal, like no uh, precautions at all? I mean, if if like if we really and 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 I think you know, there's a reasonable conversation about 
yes. opening schools because yes. I think I think it is vitally important for children, especially young children, to be able to socialize, to be able to learn. And we have, as a society, placed so much. Uh, value on being able to go out to eat or being able to go out to the bar, and we have not allocated n- nearly enough risk in the national conversation to uh, schooling, I think. But if we're going to do schooling, it can't be like normal. We can't be having 35, 40 kids in a classroom that's 300 square feet or 400 square feet. I mean, we've got to be radically downsizing classroom sizes, and we have a teacher shortage as it is. No one wants to be a teacher because the pay is not enough, the benefits are not enough, and you have to deal with all these crazy parents, you have to deal with all these crazy kids, and um, and you have to deal with politicians like Tupperville. You have to deal with the bosses constantly, constantly dogging on you in the public. You've got to deal with... Um, you, you, you've got to deal with the government on your back telling you how to teach all the time, not being able changing to teach how constantly. you know, yeah. changing it constantly, constantly having to change your lesson plans. It's, it's crazy. I, mean, I can't imagine the stress that teachers are having to go through right now, and politicians, bosses are just throwing them under the bus. They're trying to divide the, the rest of us against teachers and for what so they can get elected so they can destroy teachers unions so they can destroy worker power one of the the strongest bases of worker power in america right now and and so that they can so that they can privatize schools so that they can send more money to themselves and their billionaire donors it's sickening yep yep and 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 what we see in tuberville is exactly what we not democrats not republicans not independents all of Worker. us should be worried about is this yes. divide, instead of coming out with a policy that he may have talked to with Jones about, or he may have talked to mm-hmm. with, with Senator Shelby about, we've got him just sitting here making inflammatory comments, attacking everybody, because this is what people buy into these days. They yeah. love this reality show politics to where we just mm-hmm. tear everybody down and we, we, have, we don't accomplish anything. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your time. Uh, if you want to see what we're up to throughout the week and get our snide quips about the news of the day, then you should follow us on social media. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Valley Labor Report. We're on Twitter at Labor Reporters. I'm on Twitter at Jacob M underscore A-L. David is on Twitter at Radical Unionist. That's spelled R-A-D-I-C-L Unionist. If you miss part of the show and want to go back and watch it later, search YouTube for The Valley Labor Report and subscribe to our channel. You can go back and watch the full show there, and we also clip segments throughout the week. And we also upload the program on more than 11 different podcasting apps. So you can see if we're on your listening platform of choice, you can go to The Valley Labor Report dot transistor dot fm slash subscribe. And if you appreciate our work and want to help us stay on the air, then consider throwing us a couple dollars a month on patreon.com slash the Valley Labor Report.